Good morning, everybody. Thank you for clicking on today's video. And today, I've got a fun new website that I want to show off here. Um, and I recently watched a YouTube video. Uh, the video is called How Writing My Thesis on League of Legends Made Me Stop Playing the Game or something similar. So this website is called Coachless GG. And I, the crux of the video and the idea and the philosophy behind the video was essentially that item stats in League of Legends have always been flawed, right? Let's say you build Leandres and Leandres at a 52% win rate on Udyr, which is, you know, pretty fair. Uh, you've got a 52% win rate. Does that mean Udyr overall has a 52% win rate? Or does that mean by building the item, you have a 52% win rate? And if you take that a step further, let's say, what happens if you build your second item? You've got a million options on Udyr, Tank Udyr in particular. How does that impact your win rate? I've seen websites before that will break it down in terms of, okay, build this, this, and this, and this will be your overall win rate. I've seen those websites before. Why this website is different, there are three columns. So obviously this hashtag at the bottom is the amount of games or the amount of data that this website has tracked. The uh, This little like middle column here is your overall win rate. So let's say, let's just go ahead and filter by, you know, let's say it's just top Aatrox. This, what this is saying is essentially in patch EUS or in the region EUS in patch 14.19, Aatrox overall has a 50% win rate, 50.25% win rate with Stridebreaker. Now, the super interesting part about this website is actually this top column. According to the data and according to the formula, and he breaks it down in the video, but essentially this top number represents the odds or the chances or like the impact building this item has on you winning the game. So in other words, if an Aatrox builds Stridebreaker first, even though it's a 50% win rate, theoretically, it will increase his odds of winning the game by 4%. That's why we see it second item, he's got a 54% win rate, give or take. You know, we can go down all these items that we can see right now, honestly. There's a lot of games on Eclipse, there's a lot of games on a lot of things, but Spear of Shoujin is actually performing the best on Aatrox right now. And we can see that your best second option on this would be this item, right? But there's only 247 games. So let's go ahead and go to the meat and potatoes. The title of today's video for a reason is the highest win rate build on Udi, okay? Um, you know, there are t so, so many items you can build. We're gonna go ahead and filter by jungle because you really don't get a whole lot of, there's just not a lot of data, especially on Tiger Udi, you'll see Eclipse and, uh, Stry and, and Titanic Hydra and all that. They really don't have many games played. But one thing that I have noticed is that Triforce and Experimental Hexplate both are insanely, insanely good. And then, of course, if you go Triforce first and do anything second, usually you've got about a 55% win rate on Tiger. And then the beauty, that build that I've been telling people to play, that uh, Hexplate and a Shoujin, once you make it to three items, you have a 60% win rate, which is kind of how I feel too. It's not a two-item setup. It's really you get peanut butter and jelly. You can start fighting people and tempoing into your third item. If you make it to three items, you tend to win the game 60% of the time. I feel like that's accurate. But I want to talk about today, uh, you know, a build that has been honestly taking kind of uh, the uh, Summoner's Rift by Storm in terms of Udyr players. The build, in case you're wondering, is actually Leandri's Unending Despair, Spirit Visage, and let's talk about why this combo. So first thing I want to point out is if you can upgrade to Mejai's, it is actually by far and away your best option second item. We've known this for a long time as AP Udyr, but literally if you upgrade to Mejai's, not only do you have a 76% chance of winning the game, aggregated over a thousand games, but you're going to improve your chances of winning the game by 3%. Now, let's talk about boot options. I have been saying for a long time, Magic Pin Boots are actually the best boots on Udia right now because they improve your clear speed and improve your tempo. Improving clear speed and tempo means you get around the map faster, which means you gank more. And frankly, udir has got so much survive, you know, you've got an Awakened E and Awakened W, you don't really need armor or defense boots in this particular high health patch that we're in. With that being said, Sorcerer Boots actually have a 55% win rate and snowball you and increase your odds of winning the game by 2% or so. In other words, these are your highest win rate boots right now. So let's say you build Sork Boots and then Mejai's. What do you build after that? We've got a whole lot of options as you can see, everything from Abyssal to Fimble Winter to Sunfire Aegis. By far and away, Anything that, you know, if you see a negative percentage, once again, this means that these items decelerate your build. So um, in this case, you know, if we take a look, we'll see that in the highest in terms of what accelerates you the most is actually 
uh, Unending Despair and Spirit Massage. It doesn't matter the order you build them in. Both of them will increase your odds by winning the game by anywhere from 2 to 3% just by building the item. In addition, with the second item combo of Spirit Massage and Leandri's, you have overall a 54% win rate. Unending Despair is slightly better at 55.7% because it makes sense. There's a lot of AD champions in the meta right now. Especially if you're going Sorcerer Boots, this item is really good because you're doing extra magic damage to them and healing extra uh, as well. So let's say you've got Mejai's Unending Despair. Guess what your third item is going to be? It's going to be whatever you didn't build second. Either Spirit Besides or Unending Despair. You can see literally just by getting the three item combo of Leandre's Unending into Spirit Besides, you have a 60 percent win rate or 60 percent chance of winning the game six out of ten games you're going to win and every single item is improving your odds of winning the game by building it when you're ahead or behind so like these are universally good items to build they will never hurt you even when you're ahead these items outperform other snowball items i want to shout out dead man's most people build dead man second have you seen those stat websites that say udir has a 53 percent win rate right now with leandre's dead man's that is true, but if you look, Dead Man's does not accelerate your lead more than tank items right now, which is the beauty of this website. This is a pay-to-win website, by the way. Uh, you have to pay to get Udyr stats. I went ahead and paid with some. Uh, we had a uh, Twitch sub kind enough to donate some money there. So we uh, were able to get the subscription. But this website, this is the information we've been missing, is what accelerates you and what is the most consistent. And guess what? If you build Spirit Massage, guess what your third item highest win rate is? It's actually Unending Despair. And unlike Dead Man's, this is a small sample size, not only do you have a higher win rate with Unending Despair, but it accelerates your lead more. That is insane, right? Like, literally, this build is outperforming everything else in the game. One thing I want to talk about, too, is a lot of people build Riftmaker second when they're ahead, but here's the bottom line, and I've known this, and I've said this for a long time. Riftmaker does not accelerate your lead. It just kind of stagnates you. Like, sure, it improves your odds of winning by 0.3%, but you're spending 3,100 gold for that. And honestly, this is a better item later in the game. So in my opinion, it's actually a tank meta. It's literally just a drain, and it's not a full tank meta like this. We're not building Force of Nature, uh, Canic Rooker. We're building drain tanks. Spirit Visage and Unending Despair with Conqueror is actually aggregated over the course of, what, 43,000 games? That is the highest win rate build right now. Um, and, of course, Mejai's works really well on this build because since you're tanky, you'll never die. You get to keep your Dark Seal stacks. You eventually upgrade to Mejai's. Mejai's gets you the 10% movement speed. And literally, your first four items... Plus boots, of course, are Leandri's Unending Despair, Spirit Massage, Magi's Sorcerer Boots, or Armor Merc Treads if you need them, but Sorcerer Boots would be my recommendation. That is the highest win rate build right now, um, and it's kind of crazy to me. You know, I've been playing this game a long time. I've been playing Udyr a long time. I do want to stress that other forms of Udyr are viable. You know, I've got a 55 to 60% win rate on Tiger and full AP Phoenix right now, but I was curious to see how patch 14.19 rattled up the game from you know the health standpoint items but also just kind of the overall champions we see in the meta and it turns out with this meta because we're in a crowd control meta we need to have sustained drain tank it makes sense all the champions that are strong right now are a high health pool uh crowd control champs udir fits very well in this meta if you build him this way and it's interesting seeing by the way uh, abyssal mass doesn't actually perform better than spirit massage anymore which i think is fascinating um so you should only be building abyssal mask by the way in the games that uh in the games where your team has a ton of magic damage so that is kind of the meat and potatoes of this of uh, this video here your highest win rate build that you could go right now is leandre's into unending despair into spirit massage with sork boots and a Mejai's once you get your 10 stacks upgraded you supposedly according to this website have a 60 percent chance of winning the game this is why riot understandably so is nerfing udier um it is kind of insane so uh thank you guys for watching if you want to see me play live i will be testing this build live probably the next 48 hours while i spam it uh one thing i also want to mention on the back end of this video because it's really not important uh but a lot of people are telling me this is a rebo's build if you guys know there's another content creator named a rebo um, I literally went to a website and just started copying the highest win rate build. So um, I apologize if I'm stepping on anybody. I'm not taking credit for this build. I'm just literally saying aggregated, this is the highest win rate build. 
and I'm encouraging you guys to play it this patch because clearly a lot of people are having a lot of fun with it and winning more often than not. So uh, this is not me stealing anybody's build. This is not me like trying to like, you know, bump shoulders with anybody. This is me literally just saying the numbers are the numbers and it's the highest win rate, one, two, three in terms of what you can build right now. Thank you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff and uh, make sure to uh, tune in to twitch.tv backslash Willie also in the description below. Uh, thanks again. Bye. Dang. Call me so I can make it juicy for you.